Hutu militiamen Fulgon Sky Shema is charged by the prosecutor of the tribunal with genocide, conspiracy to commit genocide and extermination for crimes that included a 1994 massacre at a Nyange church in western Rwanda in which over 1,500 people were crushed by a bulldozer. According to the tribunal, he fled from justice and remained a fugitive for years until he was found to be living in Cape Town in 2018, upon which... An immediate request for assistance was submitted to the South African authorities seeking his prompt arrest. The prosecutor told the council that they were then surprised to learn that Kai Shema had been granted refugee status in South Africa and could therefore not be handed over to the mechanism. This excuse was withdrawn months later and replaced with a new argument that South Africa lacked a legal basis to cooperate with the mechanism. After 16 months of intense negotiations, in December 2019, South Africa finally submitted the UN arrest warrant for execution, which a local magistrate approved. However, by then, Kaishima could not longer be found. It is important to note that my office has reliable information that Kaishima was present in South Africa as late as October and November 2019, so merely weeks before South Africa reported to the Security Council that the arrest operation was unsuccessful. He says his office then submitted an extensive request for further assistance, but that this had not been satisfactorily answered by Pretoria. Two months ago in October, it was agreed that my office would send a technical team to Pretoria to finally receive the requested material. The Foreign Affairs and Justice Ministries convened a number of joint meetings with responsible officials. But the Department of Home Affairs, which has responsibility for key information, did not even attend as scheduled. My office was then again requested to send last week another mission to specifically meet with the Department of Home Affairs and receive the outstanding documents. To our great surprise, on the last day of the mission, Home Affairs representatives informed us that Kaishima's refugee file and fingerprints do not exist. This is really difficult to understand. Ramitz explained to the council why, despite all their efforts, Kaishima remains at large. The situation raises many questions. How can it be that South Africa refused to arrest Kaishima two and a half years ago based on a refugee file that is now claimed doesn't exist? And why didn't authorities take obvious measures after being informed that an internationally wanted fugitive indicted for genocide was present in their country? Despite a UN warrant calling for Kaishima's immediate arrest, South African authorities did not provisionally detain him or put him under any surveillance to prevent his escape. Despite the criticism, South Africa's envoy said they stand ready to meet their international obligations. We have taken full note of the remarks by the prosecutor this afternoon. We assure you that your recommendations made today will receive the appropriate attention of the government of South Africa. Regarding the most recent interaction between the prosecution and South Africa, I wish to report that the matter has been escalated to the highest authorities. A visit by the prosecutor to South Africa will be most welcome. It will be in line with this escalation that I have referred to. In appealing for greater political and diplomatic pressure on Pretoria, the prosecutor warned that effective cooperation continues to set back their work and prevent the completion of the tribunal's mandate. Shervin Bryceby's SABC News, New York.